But as a disclaimer, what is considered good manners does vary from country to country and culture to culture. So please don't get offended. Don't take anything I say too seriously. Life is too short. I hope that you find something that you like and that you stay. Firstly, I just want to apologize for not posting um, a video at the end of April. That week was really hectic, a lot of stuff was going on, and then I ended up traveling, as you can tell by my rich, dark mahogany complexion. I was really excited to see the sun. Um, so to try and make it up to you guys, I, um, I've published two videos this week. Um, the first one I published uh, yesterday and that's just some highlights of the trip to the Algarve it was a little girly tour it was um, lots of fun really beautiful and fortunately for me I came back to find more sun in Bergen the weather is beautiful even though it's only 15 degrees I have seen people outside in their short shorts despite the fact that I'm shivering but it's none of my business today's video is entitled much ado about manners uh, a friend of mine once said that she feels that always thinking about manners and behavior and that sort of thing takes all the fun and joy out of just living. I couldn't disagree more. Showing good manners is just a way of showing other people that you appreciate them and saying, hey, look, I see you, I value you as a human being, take some respect from me. And having been brought up mostly in the South African schooling system, it's kind of ingrained in you to have good manners from a really young age. So, <laughs> Imagine my great shock. So picture this. It's my first day of work in Norway, probably my fourth day in Norway, generally speaking. I plod up to the salad bar. Life is so promising. Oh, looking forward to a sumptuous meal of leaves and plant and, you know, stepping up to the salad bar. And as I'm about to reach for the spoon, a distant collie swoops in in front of me with this great big bright happy innocent smile on their face and grabs the salad leaf that I was going for. But okay, is this one of those things you see in prison movies where I have to prove myself? And then I decided that I'd imagined it and um, that it didn't happen. Um, it happened a good like 10 or 15 more times. I don't care about it anymore. Just swoop in if you want to swoop in. I'm just gonna sneak in and I'm like, um, I told myself the same thing the first 40 times I was walking down the road and there was a perfectly human sized space next to me through which somebody could pass without touching my physical body but this person for some reason or another decided that they weren't going to just use the human sized space that remained on the pavement but just walk through me and then utter a very soft and almost surprised sounding oi before they continued breathing down the street as if my plight meant nothing to them. Or the time I tried to get off the tram only to be accosted by six people trying to get on at the same time. Or the time when I saw somebody I recognized and waved for all the world to see and all they gave me back was a prolonged but decidedly neutral stare. I see you, I have seen you, I'm acknowledging you. This means hello. Okay, now I'm gonna look away. The many times where I've been eating and enjoying my meal, and the person to my left says, Oh, Sushani, could you pass me that? Oh, never mind, I'll get it myself. And they leap up out of their seat and lunge across my plate, thereby presenting their armpits to my food and my face to reach whatever it is that they wanted that I could have easily passed them. The moral of the story is that when you move to another country, you need to learn very quickly that different countries have different conventions for what's polite and what isn't polite. Um, I know as a South African, there's certain things for us that we consider very polite that people would find shocking here. You can't really call somebody up and be like, yeah, I'm standing outside, can you let me in? That, that, that doesn't really fly here. You can't just lunge at a stranger and hug them and say, nice to meet you, they will feel violated. So I guess there's a lot of things that we as foreigners do that the Norwegians just don't get and just can't stand. So foreigners, share your funny stories about 
little things that Norwegians do that you had to adjust to and understand that they're not being rude they're just you know being themselves and Norwegians what are some of the things that we as foreigners do that absolutely drive you guys crazy I hope that you liked this video if you liked it please remember to like share subscribe and also remember to check out some of my other videos I will try and post another video on the 17th of May, but being that it's the national day, I may not have time. But until next time, be safe.